Well, for decades, California has been the promised land for Europeans hoping to make it big, and many have. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren, you name it, half the continent's moved here and thrived. If you have the look and are hungry for fame, California is the promised land, or was. Fabio is an Italian-born model and actor. He just became a U.S. citizen last year. He's been in this country for a long time, in this state, particularly California, but he says it's becoming unlivable thanks to liberal policies, in particular the failure to support the police. Fabio joins us tonight. Fabio, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Hey, doctor. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Yes, California, you know, become, is, a, is a mess. You know, it's like coming from Europe, I already saw this movie before. So, you know, instead uh, to take uh, the size of the law enforcement, uh, you know, Governor Jerry Brown took the, the size of the criminal. And, uh, you know, and uh, he's the champion of Prop Proposition 57. He went on TV and talked about uh, then uh, he's going to release uh, uh, some, uh, you know, uh, nonviolent criminals uh, because California uh, has no money and cost about $100 million to keep uh, these people in jail. So uh, the only problem, he lied to people. He sold uh, people on, on lies. He told the people, this, this criminal, they were nonviolent. Oh, it's just people, they, have, uh, they got arrested for uh, uh, a bag of marijuana, no big deal. No, actually, you know, there is much more to the story. If you check uh, Prop 57, the majority of criminals, they are sex offender, uh, uh, child molester, right. uh, human trafficking with sex with minors, and, uh, you know, assault with deadly weapon, uh, um, you know, the, 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 the la creme de la creme, you know, and he's releasing all these people uh, back in society. And, uh, you know, and, and today I'm telling you, it's an epidemic. Everybody's getting uh, burglarized, uh, robbed. Uh, well, you I mean, got, it's, didn't it's you get burglarized? Weren't you a victim yeah, of this one, recently? One of the many, many, one of the many, many, many people, uh, Tucker, I mean, you know, out of my friends, about 14 people got burglarized, robbed, they broke into their cars. I mean, it's an epidemic. And, uh, and you know, I know, you know, it, it's like uh, as, as people, we have to take the law side. We have to stand behind yeah. the police, uh, behind the, the law enforcement, not behind the criminal. I'm sure there is some criminal, they are re rehabilitated, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, releasing all these people, you know, what uh, Governor Jerry Brown is going to go on TV and says when he's going to release all this rapist and child molester, what he's going to say to every single woman out there, you know, oh, you know, don't worry, you know, uh, the guy got raped in jail and now it's, uh, you know, is a new guy. Or, you know, what is going to say to all those parents that they, they got uh, molested and raped? No, no, by, it's a great, it's a, it's uh, a great question. Or, but, but here's what, here's what I don't understand. So you know? you're in Los Angeles. You've lived here for a long time. You understand the power of fame. And you know that young people sometimes take their cues from celebrities. Wouldn't it be helpful right. if celebrities in Los Angeles just said out loud, you know, I support the cops. They're not all evil. They're not all bigots. Yes, like, you know what? They keep you us know, safe. No, exactly. And you have, and to tell you, this is not even a political issue. You know, you have, you know, uh, the law enforcement and the people, okay? Uh, majority of celebrity, they're always talking about being for the people. Well, this is a great occasion to come out and support the people. On one side, you have the law enforcement and the people. On the other side, you have the criminal. Of course, we have to take the stand with the people. And um, I'm telling you, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's unbelievable in some so time, how, you know. So how long, have you, been, how long you, have you been in California? Oh, I've been in California probably for like, uh, I don't know, like uh, 14 years. Have you seen it change? Has, you, has, you has remember, the state changed in the time oh, you've been here? Oh, big time. You remember, you remember Murphy's Laws? It yes. was great. The police had everything under control, right? Yes. And three strike you out. Sometimes four, you're out. Right. Now the police is getting uh, people, they've been arresting 13 times. And also, you know, I'm telling you, all this burglary going around the Los Angeles, the, uh, these people make so much money, they can bail their partner the next day. So the next day they can be back in business. And people, uh, and you know, and the police, they're totally demoralized. Uh, the police, you know, they don't want to, you know, it's, they, Governor uh, Brown put the position, uh, put the police in a really, really bad spot. Number yeah. one, because he's the boss and he turned the back on them. Even the DAs, you know, they tried, they brought a lawsuit against uh, Prop 57. And I mean, I have a, I have a quote from uh, uh, Jerry Brown. And uh, he said, it's perplexing why the DAs would deny the people of California 
the right to vote on this important public safety measure. Okay. <laughs> so now, letting, here, letting I'm, criminals out of prison exactly, is now a public exactly. safety measure. I am, it's Orwellian. I am, exactly. I, I, <laughs> uh, Tucker, I am perplexed of the way the governor of California is thinking. Okay. I mean, you well, know, here's, what, what, can, can I make one prediction on? since we're out of time? Maybe like a lot of Californians, you'll be living in Wyoming at some point. I've noticed that trend somehow. Fabio, it is great to see you tonight. Good luck here. Hey, thank you, thank state. you, thank you for having me. Great to see you. Thank